guys. Uh, 10th of May, 2021. We got, a, we got a really nice day. It's a little hazy right now. It's not real hot. Uh, we just had uh, Darwin from Demeterland. He's like the project yeah. manager dude. Uh, he was over about the water. And I, I told him I, I needed the people from the association, not him, because I already know I got uh, fair water pressure there. Uh, there's, a, there's a regulator that needs to be turned up from the, the purveyors of the water. Okay. And uh, he said they watched the, the video and they were, they were like mad at me because of this. Well, I did clean a lot of stuff out. I got the pressure upstairs doubled. But my problem is right now, if I... Uh, it, now, you can flush the toilet upstairs and it cuts the water down just a little bit. But if you, if you run the sink down here or flush the toilet downstairs, you lose all water. So that's telling me they're not, they're not kicking us enough pressure. Uh, the water tank over here is plenty high. Uh, you know that it should it should kick us up to the second floor easy but they're not giving us enough pressure uh, that's the that's the problem now so one of the things they said Demeterland knows about this and why didn't they offer me a provision for a booster pump <laughs> you know if they knew about it you know they have a bunch of houses built here before that they should have got on the phone with me and said hey you know something there is a little bit of a problem with the water the volumes there it's just the pressure isn't uh it, you're gonna need a booster pump Th that simple and i'd have said okay i can't the if the water pressure goes down here because somebody's downstairs doing anything and the kids flush the toilet you lose the hot water because of the flow you know, once that flow gets down to a certain amount, that thing shuts off and it goes into its little thinking mode. Uh, we don't have that problem in the kitchen. We got great hot water in the kitchen sink because the pressure's up. So um, now we're, in, you know, here we are again. We're going to go where uh, I, I just looked online for a pressure tank. He said they're around 10,000. Uh, this Darwin fella, he's, pre he's a pretty cool guy. He's all right. And then... Uh, I found one for 6,500 on uh, on Lazada, half horsepower. Any of you guys who are who are plumbers and stuff, uh, I had I had a pressure tank. Uh, I lived in a place that uh, it had a spring. It didn't have a well. It had a spring house for water, and had a pressure tank. Uh, but I don't remember how many horsepower it was. It worked great. It was just a little tiny unit. It had the pressure tank when you turned the water on, uh, and the pressure dropped inside that little tank. Then it would run the motor. And I had great water pressure. I mean, I, I could wash the cars. I could do anything I wanted to. And, and the, the spring house was just sort of um, gravity fed down into the into the basement with the three-quarter line. And then we went to half. It was half-inch lines in the house. And that place had great pressure. But I don't remember the horsepower. Uh, they're, they're selling. They have them half horsepower, three-quarter horsepower, and, uh, you know, one horsepower units. And they're, the, the price isn't that much, but I don't want to get too big of a, you know, I don't want to get a bigger motor than I need. Uh, you know, so if any of you plumbers out there know a little bit about this, here's my, here's what's coming into the house. This is what's coming in right here. So that's just like half inch. It's a metal pipe. Well, yeah, it looks like three quarter, but this is all, then it goes into half inch here into the house. So three quarter, yeah, just like just like it was. It's coming through the meter, but uh, you know he came and opened it up again. And I already saw that before. Uh, there was some stuff in there in the screens and all that. And we got her cleaned out. Uh, he said they tested everything uh, before they went to turn it over. Could that have came in afterwards? Yeah, I guess. I, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue with these guys anymore. Uh, it's like beating a dead horse. They don't like me already. Uh, you know, that's a great thing. You know, I, I always said it's the servant that takes money. So uh, I don't believe they're, uh, they're proper servants. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, you know, they just get, they get butt hurt uh, because I want what I want. You know, that's just, that's just all there is to it. Now I got to pay for, you know, I got to pay for getting a thing in and we got to bring power from where, where the light is. Now I'm going to have an overhead power thing or something on the ground you know I got to build a little house for it to keep it out of the rain you know here we go here we go why wasn't all this stuff done in the first place why couldn't I have had a pressure tank where it comes into the house uh, set up and put in we could we could have put it on a bracket in the in the bathroom down there with a little cover on it something you know something other than here we are gonna have it outside uh, and this is what I have to have uh, you know as of as of now uh, the dude, the Starwin dude, said talk to Alvin, who's the 
Uh, he's the brother of some, you know, big wig down there. Uh, I'm not sure. My wife was talking to him, so I didn't get the the whole story. Just catching little bits and pieces, but. Uh, I don't know. This house is under warranty. You know, you expect to get some kind of some kind of pressure. Uh, if you come to this company and you buy a house, uh, and somebody uh, turns water on downstairs and you lose your water upstairs, that's a problem, guys. And I don't think that's something that I I should be having to take care of. That's something they should pay for every dime of that, not me. So it ju it just seems really. Uh, really crappy that this is what you got to deal with. So if you're an expat and you're coming here and you're going to get a house built, ask questions about this stuff. Me, I, I, I was just a big dummy. I just assumed if this premier builder is going to build a house, everything is going to be fine when they're done. You know, because that's what I was used to in the States. I worked residential for a few years. And, uh, you know, these builders were Johnny on the spot making sure everything was right. Uh, you know, there were problems that happened, but boy, they were right out there fixing it immediately. It didn't matter if it was midnight. You know, they call you out, let's go. And, uh, you know, that was that's what I my experience was. And then you come out here, huh, well, we didn't know. You know, when they first started uh, putting houses in there, they said they didn't know. But as soon as the houses are up, they should know. You know, somebody here has to turn on the water and say, Hey, there ain't much water coming out on the second floor, guys. There's a problem here. <laughs> and then tell everybody else who's getting their house built, Hey, we're going to have to put you a tank in if you want if you want the pressure. And, uh, you know, me, I, I, I lived here for eight years, Tab Owen. And I was, uh, the reason why I was let down so bad is I was thinking, Wow, I'm finally going to get a hot shower here in the Philippines, you know. Uh, when I was down in Davao, I stayed at a hotel and I had a hot shower there, uh, and that that was great. It wasn't a, uh, they didn't have a big enough thing, but at least it was a, a not a hot shower, but a, at least a real warm one, and uh, I really liked that. And I was expecting that here. I even bought a bigger Insta Hot so I could, I could, and it does when it's when there's water flowing upstairs, that Insta Hot will get real hot. I mean, it get, it gets too hot. It's got a little remote control to turn it down. And the kitchen sink too. Uh, that water is steaming hot. It's a it's a really good insta hot. And uh, you know, so I bought the right stuff. Uh, I do have to get the the bigger hoses. There, they uh, it's a restriction there. But uh, you know, there was a lot of it, the problem with this place was the main restriction was down here at the bottom. Uh, I don't know why that uh, uh, black washer was in there. It's, it, don't know. I just don't know. And. Uh, you know, just just a little bits of the the crap in the pipe. Uh, that happens. I, I, I'm not gonna make a big fuss. I was able to take care of that pretty good. So this is where we're at now. Um, but uh, when you guys, if you come here, I would highly recommend uh, you ask them about everything. Uh, have them do a, a water pressure test saying you know this is what you're going to get so uh, you know if it's going to be 40 pounds 50 pounds you know i i had my house set at 50 i could have got 60 but had it set at 50 and uh that was just seemed really good and here uh you know 40 would probably do it 40 50 pounds that would be great but make sure when you get in your house built that you find out uh what they're going to give you uh, find out you know er everything uh, I would get a I would get some attorney to draft up a paper uh, saying that the house should be built and this is when it should be done you know because if they tell you six months okay every day after six months uh, let's have let's have a fine or something uh, you know get get all this stuff don't don't uh, don't run into the same baloney that I ran into uh, getting a builder to do your house and uh, like I said I know they don't like me very much I don't give a damn you know, why don't you guys get up and do what's right? Uh, I hope this shakes these people up so that they could do do a better job, uh, you know, with this. Because a lot of foreigners uh, come here and buy houses. And personally, myself, I want to be in a development. It's a little bit better security for the kids. So why don't, they, you know, they should be doing a better job. They should cater to us, uh, to anybody that they're building a house for. Not that it should, I should just accept whatever they dish out you know, you know and uh this is why i make this vlog so you people can see this and be careful what you do it's just like if i if you go to a restaurant tropical tim did a review of the restaurant uh where he went to army navy and he showed it to you and it was crappy hi buddy 
<laughs> yeah, the boy. And we go in there for dog check now. Yeah, we're gonna go walk in a little bit, but uh, it's the same thing. You know, so you don't go there. You you don't you don't use that uh, restaurant. And this is the same thing, guys, with with the headaches I've run into. And uh, like this uh, fellow said, yeah, they watch the vlogs on uh, in the office. Well, this should be something like a training thing. It's like my kids when they're bad, you give them a whack in the butt. You know, this is a, this should be a wake up call for you guys down there in the office that watch this video. Why don't you start trying to do a better job instead of the same what you do uh, everybody in here uh, he said hey we'll take you over we'll show you all the houses are like this well how comes all these houses don't have a booster pump in there demeter land why well <laughs> you just want to you just want to dish out something you could make more money <laughs> you know but now uh i hope this is under warranty and that that they say hey you know you're not you're not delivering it but uh anybody here that's uh filipinos that uh, has a house i know over in carmona uh, we had great water pressure upstairs you know if i'd had an insta hot up there it would have been great you know but uh i didn't i didn't think i was going to be there that long if i would have known i was going to be there that long i'd have went ahead and added one yeah we're going to do that in a little bit so you know guys i i don't know why you don't want to make more money uh, you know to get stuff like this done honestly Demeter land if you'd have come to me and said hey You know, we've we've uh, started building the houses We didn't really do the streets and the water and there's a small water tower and guess what we found out that the pressure is a little bit low and uh, You know, we recommend a booster tank And I, you know what I just said Do it, you know do it. Let's go you know, I bought the Instahots. I could have bought the booster tank. I know I've seen up the stores around here. They're around 10000 for a half-horsepower one with the tank. But I found it on Lazada for for uh, 6500 shipped. So I would I would have got it and had it sent to them. Had them sent, that's what I did to the Instahots. I had them sent straight to the office. And then the guys came out here and installed them. And, uh, you know, I never, they never did give me, this is another thing where, where to me, uh, Demeter land is lacking. It's a simple thing, but it's lacking. Uh, when I worked in houses before, if there was a water heater taped to the side of the water heater was, was the booklet on it. Uh, the kitchen sinks in the drawer was all your little books. Now I went ahead and had it sent straight to them and there's an instruction manual and a warranty card and there's all this stuff. I never got that. What'd they do with it? Was it, you know, maybe it wasn't in the box. I don't know, but I didn't hear anything. Uh, they called me right away and said, oh, there wasn't a remote control for one. Okay, big deal. I don't care. But why didn't they say there wasn't a warranty or a card for this? So I could have got a hold of the company and say, hey, I need a, I need a book. You know, it wasn't in the box. It, they didn't tell me that. Or it's sitting in the office or it's in a garbage can somewhere. You know, that's, I know it's a small thing, but, but uh, when I'm troubleshooting this, I wanted to make sure the water was going, if there's a, a, a way it flows, does it, does it have an in and out? I couldn't see anything on there in and out. Maybe it doesn't matter, but it would be nice to read that. And that, you know, and if it is, does have, and it's hooked up backwards, well, then I just need to get some, I'm going to get the hoses. I'll get a longer one and make sure it reaches to, you know, to fix that. Um, this is just where I'm at, guys. So, but we're, we're going to keep, keep working on it. Uh, we'll be getting a pressure tank in here because this stuff and not being able to get a, a hot shower. Uh, what happens, like I said, uh, the water goes up and down. It's not real, real high pressure, but when it's, when it's steady, I get, um, hot water and plenty hot water but then what happens is the it stops the the unit just stops giving hot water so it's hot cold hot cold and uh another thing too about the height uh, one of one of you fellows on there is a plumber said you always ask that height um, you know as a, as an electrician too we we did that too we had a we did a house for a fella uh, when I was very young, and he, he was a tall fella. He was a little bit taller than me, and uh, he was a retired basketball player. He played over in Europe somewhere. Big fella, and his wife was even really tall, too. And they were in their 40s, and uh, he, he was just coming back to the States, and he's getting this uh, house built. Well, he had the kitchen counters raised way up. Well, if we'd have went in there and just put our... Put our uh, 
um, plugs and everything and they'd, they'd been right on the counter because these things were real high I actually liked it though for me it would have been great uh, but he had all the heights of them to to his him and his wife's like elbow it, halfway in between the heights of each of their elbow and uh, you know like in the kitchen and he had the, the shower heads all moved up and, and they did it you know he came in and walk, did a walk through and said hey I need this just like I did now that got missed so now I'm in a shower that the rain shower head is this high it's, and it's as high as it'll go it's, it's just you know this is the, this is the kind of thing you guys down there at the meter land you got to address this you guys need to have some meetings in that office and start addressing these people uh, I talked to the salesman the other day and he said uh, oh you know blah 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 this that and the other I said well you know something I dealt with this girl named Darlene Lachado or I, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her last name but uh, she just keeps missing stuff somebody from the office needs to train this girl they need to get her in a, in a training or something uh, to you know to get her to where she's fixed and if the and if she if it's an English problem she doesn't learn English then you don't give her to the American guy <laughs> you don't do it I don't like being translated through my wife they knew I was an American when I came in and bought the house and when we gave them the down payment they were just oh so happy about that you know but another thing they did I thought was really stupid as a company and uh, they didn't show us this model because there wasn't any built so they showed us one that was bigger and it had a kitchen sink out back it had stuff and, and it had the, it had the vent for the exhaust for the uh, kitchen fan and oh good we you know we're gonna get that my wife even said yeah we're gonna get that we never got that because it isn't in this model but they didn't they didn't tell us that it was a, like a bait and switch type deal which is something you guys got to get you you guys keep doing that stuff and this this is why I make these videos uh, because of all these little it just was a, a you know like a dam breaking a little bit of water comes out and it just keeps coming out until the whole place is flooded and uh, this is basically what I got from you guys you know you it just was little things here and there all, constantly uh, just things not being right you know I just uh, I, I just like I say I can't abide by you guys very much I'd like to see your company turn around I'd like to see somebody get in that office and change it I worked I worked for an electrical contractor that they were having trouble on his jobs and they sent me in to fix things and I went in there and I, I uh, got rid of a lot of people uh, just, just got rid of them get out and uh, I fixed a lot of things in the company and he started turning really good profits after that uh, you know because you, you got to have you got to you have to do it uh, it's just one of them things you can't uh, you can't just let the status quo keep going on and there's unhappy people and these these Filipinos uh, it is true guys they just they don't complain they're definitely not like me at all they, they just take it it seems that's just their it's their culture uh, for a lot of them to take it not all of them uh, there it's changing I believe it's changing now but uh, it is their culture to to take take quite a bit without complaint and uh, but that's not my culture that is, that is not me everybody says oh you have to adapt to the culture well Filipinos don't adapt to American culture in America they don't they, they live in their own little Filipino community and they just they just don't and uh, you know I say yeah I'm, I, I'm aware of this culture but it's not mine uh, you know I have I have my own things and why why can't Filipinos accept me you know that I'm a foreigner here I remember years ago when I was here you were accepted and that's it's changing now you know just just in dealing with the uh, Demeter land uh, you know they, they don't uh, they don't look to me like they, oh great this is super we got a we got a guy bought one of our house that's not how I feel I don't feel like uh, like these people from way back give a flying crap about me I was told by the salesman as soon as you pay your 20 cent percent down the house starts that never happened here my house it was it was a year and a half a little bit more than a year and a half before the house started you know <laughs> what, were, what were they waiting for and then and then the girl tells me it was my fault it was all my fault I had been I had been uh, in the beginning I was putting you know 50 50 grand down every month you know getting it paid off and we were holding some back 
and uh, that was our plan to to pay down as much as we could but then when nothing was happening we stopped doing that and we just left it we left it at the house we just uh, I left it in the bank and didn't didn't give them any more and, and it's my fault what I'm supposed to uh, fund their whole project I never heard of that in my life before uh, you know so Demeter Land, you got you guys there in the office. You may not like me, and you may be pissed, but I'll tell you what. Uh, just just pick it up, guys. You can do better than than you're doing. You could do a lot better, and uh, you could get a, you could get a lot more sales, tons of them. You know, there's there's I got lots of friends that are coming here. There's there's a bunch of people that are coming here, and they're going to need housing. I know a lot of them. I, I tell everybody when you come here, it's best to rent first, find the area you like, but but everybody they look at this house it's beautiful look at this it is a beautiful house you know get it right guys get it get it right the first time uh, if you can and and if you can't change up the people you got there's people dying for work here you know you can you guys can get good people in that office and get things done right and uh, you can you can run into foreigners like me that that you're not gonna uh, treat like I've been treated and you're gonna give us a good product and then guess what oh happy days so this is Rick Shaw out Bye.